What's up, everybody? I'm Jesse Kazam. Welcome back to another Escape from Tarkov video. This is another one of our advanced map guides, and we're talking about customs today. This is one of the oldest maps in Escape from Tarkov. Uh, it got a pretty big update recently, and in my opinion, it's one of the most polished maps as the game stands right now. Um, these advanced map guides kind of are aimed more for middle of the road people. If you've got two or 3000 hours in escape from Tarkov, you're most likely not going to be able to get a whole lot of the, from this, but if you're brand new to the game, this isn't really for you as well. I've done more simple map guides. This is for people who have an understanding of the game. Um, maybe have a few hundred hours in it and are trying to kind of push their gameplay to the next level. So that's kind of who these are focused on. Uh, I play Escape from Tarkov all the time on Twitch. All my links will be down below. I'd love to have you stop by and say hey. And if you like the video, think about dropping it a like or subscribing for more content like this. Liking and subscribing to the channel really, really helped me out a ton as a creator. So thank you so much to those that do that. But with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive right in. So as always with these guides, what we'll do is we'll start off by talking about spawns and spawn PVP. You've heard me say it before, and you'll probably hear me say it again, that uh, understanding how the spawns work, where other people are going to be, and how the PVP happens in the first three to four minutes of a raid are crucially important. Even if you don't want to be going for PVP, understanding how it works and what to expect is insanely important. So, uh, Customs, it traditionally is a very long map, obviously, so it's the spawns are very pushed one end to the other over uh, other maps like Shoreline, where it's kind of like a U. Uh, there's a lot of spawns even up towards the resort. Spawns on either side, we're pushing in. Uh, you know that already. Um, but over here, like you can see the amount of spawns that are on the kind of like customs side of the map with big red right here. Um, there's a ton and they're all really close to each other. If you're spawning on this side of the map, you are spawning on this side of this river. Now, a lot of times these guys at the very front have the freedom and the ability to push right across if they want to. This guy will almost always push right across towards dorms. This guy, a lot of times these days is pushing right across to the Intel center. However, if you are back here or if you spawn up here and you have to do a quest, you are much more in PVP territory. Um, especially these back corners, crossroads and trailer park, you have to push through where a ton of other players are going to be in order to uh, get really anywhere. Now, uh, sometimes it will be super easy and sometimes you'll just kind of run right up and these guys have all moved over and there's not a whole lot to do, but you've got to be really aware that there are players a basically everywhere a lot of times right here on this road these guys will just turn around to see if these guys spawn and there's a fight that happens right here um uh, if this guy if these guys are trying to get to this side of the map and then vice versa there can be fights that happen really early on right inside here people can get up onto these little um storage sheds and will run up on top you can hear the metal clanking they'll run around looking for pmcs that spawn so be aware of that uh, and then Big Red, especially Early Wipe. There's a lot of fights that happen in here because the customs office is up here. So these guys might come in this side. These guys might wrap around front. There's going to be a lot of fighting that happens in there, Early Wipe. And then continuing on, of course, there's going to be fighting in there um, a lot as well. Uh, on the other side of the map, it's kind of the same thing with when they a few patches go and they added all this up here. They added a few spawns up here, which really helps. Uh, these guys will most likely, same thing, they're kind of the closest to dorms. They'll go right over here to dorms. Um, sometimes there can be a fight right here if this guy just wants to go this way instead and these guys spawn, there can be a fight right there on the train tracks. Um, or these guys will push up and move more towards the rocks that overlook the gas station. Uh, in here, though, we've got a whole lot of new stuff because of the new expansion, the warehouse for people. Instead of that being a closed-off warehouse, now you can go inside. So these guys might... Uh, turtle up in here, hit the power, go for some snipes. Uh, but it's the same deal. If you get these back boiler spawns, you have to be aware that there are PMCs that spawned out here in this field that could be moving in. There are PMCs that spawned up towards the gas station and warehouse four. They could be moving back. Most likely, they'll move forward. These guys will move forward. You won't have too much to deal with, but there might be another party uh, that's going to engage on you pretty quickly. I have also seen uh, some engagements across this wall right here. So this is a wall right here where you can jump over here or you can go through here. And a lot of times the guys that spawn at this warehouse might hop up or just look across and see if these guys are running up the train tracks for this. So if you do spawn here and you wanna run along the train tracks and hop over the wall right there, just be aware that these guys could be pushing you or looking for you um, in that context. So that's kind of the how the spawns break up there's not a whole lot of diversity it's just 
that side of the map, this side of the map, everyone's moving in. Um, the Now, as people move in, so the most common kind of pathing, traditionally, it was just dorms. <laughs> Basically, that was it. If there's going to be a PvP hot zone, if there's going to be people moving in, it was kind of gas station for Rashala, which we'll talk about in a minute, in dorms. Now they've opened up this whole new area where you can actually go into this giant skeleton building right here. They added this new huge kind of skeleton building. A lot of times people call it fortress. Now you can traverse the map so much different. You can come in from elbow and access this whole thing. You can come in from the old construction area. You can come in from this break right here where the skeleton is. You can traverse it from old gas. You can move in here. So now there's a lot more in and outs and a lot more common pathing um, that's going to take place, which has kind of lowered the amount of PVP that you're going to find in a raid, unless you're just charging dorms naturally because they've spread the map out. It's much wider now. And uh, they only added, I think, one more potential PMC there. So you've got a lot more freedom to kind of move around without worry of P, uh, PVP all the time because it used to be much thinner and you would just kind of have to move past dorms um, or just kind of go in construction if you wanted to avoid PVP. So the most common routes now are most likely going to be towards these two major points of interest in the middle of the map, the fortress here or the dorms. Um, so if, if you're looking for PVP, that's where people are going to be rotating in. It's just most, most of the time, it's just a straight line. It's just which line do you want to go to? Is it uh, to the dorms and then across after you're done or potentially extracting here? Or is it through the fortress and there? Uh, if you're really sweating, you might hit both of them. But at the end of the day, those are the most common pathing. And of course, those are also going to be the PVP hot zones. I would still say dorms is the number one PVP hotspot uh, on customs because you've got scat boss potential. You've got a lot of loot there and a lot of PMCs are going to come there. And there's a potential extract right there. And you're not too far away from smugglers boat if you spawn on this side. So it's still the number one spot. But... Um, the fortress is is definitely you can get a lot of PvP. It's really cool. There's really cool snipe angles. There's close quarters. There's lots of loot here as well. Uh, so this is definitely going to be a pretty decent PvP hub. But that's most of it. Once you get through the spawn PvP and you kind of pick a point of interest you want to hit after that, that's where most of the PvP is going to happen in the beginning half of the map. After that, you're most likely either looted up, got some PvP loot that you want to extract with or you're dead. Uh, what's nice about the PVP zones in customs is that they're both close to extracts. You have the new extract that's right underneath the fortress that you power in warehouse four. And then you've got the potential for the um, car uh, near dorms or the smugglers boat. So it's kind of nice that you can work through your spawn PVP, work into the hot spots, get some loot, get some PVP action. And then you're most of the time really close to an extraction, which is nice. Um, there is a decent amount of loot on customs now, uh, both uh, highly contested loot and much less contested loot as well. Uh, so, of course, just to continue with what we're saying, the, the, the best places to find loot are going to be the most contested as far as PvP. Uh, the dorms has always been really, really good for loot in the sense that there's like five or six locked rooms that have safes. You've got the marked room up here as well. You've got the potential for scav boss, which carries a ton of loot. There's most likely scavs that you can get loot from and the potential for PVP loot. Same thing over here at the uh, fortress. There is a potential for scav boss um, and there's a bunch of the big wooden crates that they uh, added in with like reserve. There's a bunch of them in the fortress and on the first floor, there's a few rooms with tons of medical loot, weapon boxes, provision boxes, all sorts of stuff. So there, there is a surprising amount of loot um, in these PVP zones, even if you come there late or if it's just a dead raid and you don't get a lot of PVP. There is a, a pretty decent amount of less contested loot though. Some of these new buildings that they've opened up like uh, the, the the building with the USEC stash room. There's two upstairs sections that are now available that you can get a ton of good loot. Some of the warehouses have some weapon boxes. The gas station can have some decent loot. Um, other than that, it, it's pretty sparse as far as, there isn't hugely underrated loot areas in customs. Everybody kind of knows that you can get some miscellaneous loot around here. You can get some miscellaneous loot up at the radar tower and some miscellaneous loot at the gas station. The big places are going to be those highly PVP contested zones. 
Um, but some of these new buildings, I would highly recommend you check them out that they have been here for a long time, but they opened them up and there's quite a bit of loot in them now uh, over here on the boiler side of the map. You've got this little building right here. Um, people call it like the meth lab or the Intel center or whatever. But up top, there is a library where there's five, six, seven Intel spawns. I've seen people get up to three or four Intels in one go. And also up top, there's tons of medical loot on the other side. Salua's, CMS's, um, Stims. This is going to be great for Salua's early wipe when you get that quest. Uh, so this is obviously a great loot spawn too. And you can kind of just hit that and then dip out if you want to avoid some PVP. Um, uh, the boss in customs is Rashala. I'm sure you know this already. He has four guards that will be there with him. They can have loot anywhere from level three, like Karasas and then Adars, all the way up to uh, Gen 4s, Altons, um, some 762 AKs with decent ammo. They'll always have nades on them. They'll always have good meds on them. You can get Black Rocks, AVSs, and then Rashala can have anything from now 308 MDRs to uh, he normally spawns with a 556 um, AK. He can have a Bitcoin in his pocket. He can have Labs cards in his pockets. Um, and then he spawns potentially with that golden TT that you need for a quest. So he can spawn at the uh, dorms, at the gas station, or at the fortress. It still seems like he mostly spawns either at uh, dorms or gas station. I haven't seen him here too many times, but I have killed him there. So he definitely can spawn there. Um, the strat for him, it, it's, it's really just try to... It, a great way to eliminate them is if you can kind of surprise them and burst a bunch of them down. If you engage with them, a lot of times they'll split off. And especially if they're at the dorms where they can go into different rooms, one might go upstairs, one might go into one room, Rashala might go in the back corner and hide. So at that point, it's much harder to kind of clear and pick them off one at a time. Um, out at the gas station, it's a little bit easier because they're either going to all be out front I'll be out back or mostly inside. So you can kind of, there's a lot more free space to rotate because you can run up here on the rocks and shoot them. You can kind of come over here on this hill, get an angle. You can push into the gas station. It is important to note, however, that their pathing around the gas station has widened a ton. And I've seen them roam all the way up by these rocks and even sometimes move up top here if they're chasing a player or something like that. So you have to be a little bit more cautious than you used to be when you're entering this area because they can roam pretty far around that area. As far as recommended kits or strategies, uh, customs is kind of cool. You can kind of do whatever you want on customs. You can run really close quarter stuff and go dorms and clear rooms. You can run long range and sit up here in the uh, skeleton and shoot out towards gas stations, shoot towards dorms, shoot towards fortress. There's a couple of these buildings have really cool long sniping angles. You can snipe up from the hill. Uh, you can snipe across. Uh, you can go mid range. There's there is a variety of gameplay supported here. It's not just all close or all far. Um, so really kind of whatever you want to run. Um, it's nice. The boss is going to have a ton of loot and a ton of meds if you need extra meds. Uh, there's just meds all over customs to find. So you can kind of run, you know, whatever you want. Almost every sort of gear set is viable on uh, customs as it stands right now. So that's kind of it. I mean, that's the map. It's it's the map we all know and love. It's the map most of us have probably spent most of our time on. Uh, there's a ton of quests, a ton of quests on customs. If you're newer to the game, learning this map is probably a good idea. And now that they've opened it up, it feels really, really good. It feels like an awesome map. You don't have to engage in PvP if you don't want to. There's a lot less choke points where they force every single player through and it feels to be in a really good spot. You can make money, you can do quests, you can get meds, you can PVP. It's kind of all here. So uh, this is mapgenie.io. If you're interested in what website this is, you can kind of pull up whatever you're looking for. The caches, there's tons of caches. So if you're looking for where they are, if you want to make money that way, this is a great way to make money. Um, so this website is great. And that's about it. I hope that this helped kind of uh, broke down how customs flows past just like where stuff is going to be and uh, helped you kind of understand what the PVP is going to look like, whether you want to engage in it or uh, not. And I hope that this helps you just kind of survive some more customs raids in Escape from Tarkov. Thank you so much, as always, for taking the time to check out these videos. Uh, if there's anything I missed or if you want to see me do these about any other maps or any other guides you'd like to see me make in the future, please drop a comment down below. Uh, once again, if you liked the video, think about dropping it a like or subscribing for more content like this. I'm always trying to help create content that helps shorten the learning curve and gets you in the game having fun as soon as possible. 
I do stream Escape from Tarkov on Twitch. All my links will be down below. We also have an awesome Discord community that's growing all the time. If you're looking for people to raid with, ask questions, get help with quests, uh, that's a great place to be. We've got new players. We've got Tarkov veterans um, and everything in between. So definitely check that out. That link is down below as well. Thank you so much, as always, for stopping by, and I will definitely see you all on the next one.